My name is Stephen and I'm project manager on Twin Calibre. The main thing about it is the idea of using two guns at the same time. And um, what we're going to do is take advantage of the dual shot controller and you'll be able to control the left hand and the right hand independently at the same time. Got our inspiration from watching John Woo films and things like Desperado and we felt when watching these, oh, we want to be able to do that in a game. So we sat down and tried to think how we're going to achieve that. Because um, you've got to be able to control these two hands at the same time, we've had to make the characters walk along a preset path. The gameplay is similar to Time Crisis or House of the Dead in terms of you go along a route that we plan for you and you're just completely concentrating on shooting as many bad guys as you can with these two guns. The other thing we're going to factor into it is also the ability that it's not just shooting the people that, that counts, it's how you do it. So style and skill all coming to play at the same time. The other major thing with Twin Calibre is we wanted it to look like a replay when you're playing it. A lot of games you see replays that look really cool, um, but when you're playing there's something missing. We want to try and get that element into the game as you go along. So we've got lots of different camera angles, a slow-mo, bullet time type things going on. We wanted a good two-player game, but without a split screen, so Twin Calibre will have both main characters on the screen all the time. And even if you're playing on your own, the other character is going to be controlled by the computer. So you should get a really good level of gameplay through it. Because the characters are on pre-scripted paths, we can choreograph the loads of action sequences while you're playing. Unlike a game with free movement, you're never really going to be knowing what the player is going to do, so you can't put that sort of thing in. With Twin Calibre, we can say, right, we're going to have a, a rooftop chase and we're going to want them to jump over at this point, roll over here, go through this burning building, and we can script all that and you concentrate on the guns. And that is another thing with the action. We sat down for of all the films we could think of and all the bits we wanted to put in. Base levels on that, so we've got trains, temples, mine car chases like Indiana Jones, shops, rooftops, and as many things as we could get our hands on, we've put in. The final game's got 13 levels in, and they're all going to vary in terms of intensity. We've tried for each one to change the pace and change the, the rate at which you sort of have to, have to cope with the bad guys and the way they attack you. Uh, each level is going to have their own boss, and again, because of the two gun thing, we've tried to design each one with a different element in mind, so some are just shoot them as quick as you can, some are, you've got to aim at two different spots simultaneously. There's other ones where one of the characters will move in and the other character's got to defend him and try and help him out. And again, there's many different angles on the two gun thing that we can think of just to make a different twist. One of the things that comes through is when you're playing with, with uh, somebody else, you can, you can save each other's lives and you're there trying to sort of shoot the bad guys off each other. But at the same time, even though you're cooperating, there's a competitive element in terms of trying to get the most kills and trying to get the best score, so then the two sit really well hand in hand. The scoring starts by counting the amount of damage you do per second rather than the amount of kills you've got. That's then multiplied by your style mark and your skill mark. Now you can get skill points by aiming at two different targets at the same time you're shooting it. If you then aim at different targets with your arms crossed, you get style points. And these all multiply together to give you an overall score. So you can walk down a corridor, shoot three bad guys and get 10 points. Or if you do it properly with loads of skill and style, you can get 1,000 points. And this really comes in again when you, when you get a bit better with the controller. You start going for trick shots and trying to get the points. Overall, there's nine different weapons. We've got two pistols to start with, two submachine guns, two rifles and two shotguns. These have all got different ranges and different fire rates and you can use them in different situations. On top of that we've got minigun sections where, which is a one-handed weapon and you just totally trash the rooms and anybody who's standing in with these, they're just a bit of a light relief really in the game. On top of that there's sections which are completely dark and when you have a torch in one hand and a gun in the other or a flare and the idea there is to find the bad guys in the dark with a torch and take them out with your, with your guns. We've also got TNT, uh, again there you get the TNT in quick, take out five bad guys, you rack up your score. It has got a five second fuse on it though, so if you throw it at the wrong place you can end up taking yourself out, so you've got to be a bit more uh, careful how you use that. There's nine main fodder characters in the game. There's three what we call mutants, and they're just like people who sort of, sort of like zombify, and they're miners, they'll just come at you. There's ones that will just walk up to you and try and kill you. There's, there's ones which throw axes. There's one we call the pouncer, which can run up walls and along ceilings and they'll, they'll jump on you. 
The next set are the, the cult, who are the ones who are responsible for what's happening in this town. They've got guns and you've got a grunt at the bottom with a pistol, an officer with a machine gun, and the disciples at the top who will have two weapons like you do and fight with you in the same way you are. And then on top of that is the three different types of demons which the cult will summon in. So like demon hounds and demon with wings and then these the really big ones which will attack you from miles away and are really powerful. The idea of the thrill factor, it's not a complicated game. And we're not trying to be too much depth in terms of uh, over elaborate storylines. The main thing is good arcade shoot 'em up front, and from that point of view, that's that's what we're focusing on. And we're trying to strip the design down and just build from that point of view, all based around the two guns, loads of action, and loads of blood and guts.